Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories breaking overnight. A four-year-old boy is hit and killed by a car on Wood Avenue in Hyde Park. Boston police say the driver took off from the scene after hitting the boy at around 930 last night, leaving him with serious injuries. The boy was rushed to Boston Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Boston police are asking anyone who knows anything to contact them immediately. The state house is closed for business today for an investigation into yesterday's electrical fire that forced everyone to evacuate. It started in the basement, causing high carbon monoxide readings and smoke throughout the building. Everyone made it out safely, including the governor and lieutenant governor. Fire officials say they're still working to figure out how the fire started. Members of SAG-AFTRA will picket today on Boston Common in support of the National Actors Strike. They plan to rally at 4 p.m. at the corner of Charles and Boylston Streets. Union members are calling for higher pay and a new deal for residuals amid the rise in streaming services. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam. And we're starting off with a bit of a hazy sky, and there were initially a few spotty showers out towards the Cape and the Islands. All of that seems to be moving out of the way by the midday hours, and we're back into a little bit of cloud cover around lunchtime as well. Just sort of ebb and flow within that point in eastern Massachusetts with another quick little raindrop or two out to the south coast as we move into the mid to late afternoon. Temperatures are almost identical. Depending on where you are, there may be a few degree dip Difference, but we are certainly going to be warm into the mid to upper 80s. And if you're going to be by the water and you're looking for the relief, well, there's not much of a change. In fact, we'll be into the low 80s for the beaches. If you're heading out to the sand, high tide is hitting right around 127 p.m. UV index is going to be very high, even though we still have the smoke particles in play, especially for those in eastern Massachusetts, right into the second half of the day. You'll need the sunblock and as well. Water temperature is now ranging anywhere from the low to mid 70s, so it's feeling much, much warmer at this point in the season. And this is only going to be the trend in the coming weeks too. Tomorrow is absolutely spectacular. We are rain free, partly to mostly sunny skies back in the low 80s. Once again, Liam, winner of the week. We got some scattered showers on tap for Friday, but with any luck, a lot of this is going to wrap up for a mainly dry weekend. I say that with wow. caution. <laughs> wow, that'll be the first, Zach. All right, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day, everybody.